Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Come on in, have a seat, relax, and enjoy. So today I was thinking about canceling my Prime membership because I haven't used it in a while. So whether you want to cancel it because you haven't used it in a while or you just have to tighten your purse strings a little bit. Purse strings, that sounds weird. Anyways, in, in, in any case or in either case, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. I was going to do it anyway, then I figured why not go ahead and post a video out there and help some people out, earn some money in the process as well. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So first, obviously, you're going to have to go into your Amazon app. Now, next you wanna to go to the bottom right corner where there are the three lines and press on the account option. Once you press on the account option, you wanna scroll downward and go into account settings and go to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ninth option, which is manage prime membership. It's really tucked in there, but yeah, go ahead and hit on the ninth option and then it'll bring you up to this page right here. What you want to do is manage the membership up top right there. And then you want to go ahead and choose the third option down, which says, um, which says manage membership. And then all the way down, you'll have the option to end your membership. It's quite simple, really. You go ahead and press on the end membership option, and then it'll just make sure and confirm that you want to cancel your membership. And then once you press cancel my benefits, it's gonna go ahead and give you the option to end now or end at the end of your billing cycle. And if you wanna end now, go ahead and do that. If not, you could come back and end it at the end of your billing cycle. But I find it kind of interesting that it asks you to confirm like three times. I realize they wanna keep their members, um, but yeah this is the final one so if you say and now it'll go ahead and end it for you and refund any amount of money that hasn't been used for the membership if you want to end it at the end of your billing cycle obviously it'll charge you your entire membership amount and then end it off there but hope this helped guys um i yeah hope this helped guys uh i hope you found it informative if you did definitely hit that thumbs up button i don't know why i paused for a second there mind is glitching a little bit but hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you guys in my next video